a Flash Gordon remake, more Transformers after the Age of Extinction? What celebrity at the MTV Awards gave a wacky and very interesting speech? All this and more with Dr. Movie 91 on Movie News Monday. What is up my movie fanatics? It is another Movie News Monday. The weeks have been flying. Now every week I sit here and I start the week off with a lot of crazy, a lot of interesting, a lot of weird news. And I think what's crazy and weird and interesting this week is that there wasn't that much exciting news this week. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you what I mean. First up, we all remember Avatar. James Cameron's film. Five years ago this movie was released and it has been known for stunning, stunning color, amazing storyline, and also one of the best 3D movies out there today. So James Cameron finally announced, he said, the script for Avatar 2 is almost done and he is excited and you know I think we're all been waiting for this film. Um, I'm a big fan of the original. I just, one thing that I really love about this is the visual effects. It's just the colors and the visual effects get me every time. So I'm really excited to see where they go from here, how they incorporate, like, are they just going to kind of keep going with the old story and, you know, a new threat and new just fun action craziness, or is it going to be more than that, you know? Is he going to have like a family? Is, is he going to be head of the, the tribe and all that stuff? I'm very, very curious to see where it goes from there. We all remember Ted. It was a fun, crazy, hysterical comedy. Not for everybody, but for the most part, it was really well done. And one of the jokes that kept uh, coming back to in the movie was a Flash Gordon joke. The song was put in the movie a lot and there was just a lot of reference to Flash Gordon and I found that very funny. Now Flash Gordon is a classic 80s film that came out in 1980 and you know it, it is it was very like for its time it was amazing it is it, it was it was just one of the coolest films ever everybody ran and raved over it from what I've heard from family members and friends so, here we go again. We're seeing a trend here every week. I always seem to stumble across one of those articles that say they're going to be remaking a classic film. The writers of Star Trek 3 are working on a new version of Flash Gordon. I'm not going to leave any opinion on this video for you guys about this because I, it would just be a broken record. You guys have heard me say it millions of times. But for all of my classic film lovers out there, I will ask you, what do you think? <laughs> what? Yeah, I really want to know because I am a huge fan of Flash Gordon. I, I did enjoy the jokes though as well in Ted. I thought they were funny and appropriate. But could you go, here's the question I want to ask, could you go and sit and actually watch a remade version of Flash Gordon? That is the big question of today. Okay, so we talked about Ted, a little more Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg talk. Transformers Age of Extinction will be out this summer. A lot of, a lot of thumbs ups and thumbs down. Um, a lot of people are very excited for the Dinobots. A lot of people are like, same old, same old. We don't need any more Transformers, but Michael Bay has announced that it <clears throat> there will be a new trilogy. So starting with Age of Extinction, that will start the trilogy, and then we'll definitely see two more movies after that. How do I feel about that? Well, you know, I think Age of Extinction is a new taste on Transformers. I'm looking forward to Dinobots, I'm looking forward to the story, I'm looking forward to everything. I've liked all the other Transformers. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that will disagree with me on that. But as for two more after that, I'm kind of curious to see where and how they're going to go from there. I'm, I know that there's a lot they can do, but how many 
robots can you incorporate into a movie and just keep replaying this basically the same basic plot meaning you have a group of protectors aka the autobots that are you know faced with a threat and they have to stop it you know i i don't know do i think michael bay will keep it interesting yeah cuz it's michael bay and he blows everything up and we have fun with his movies but I don't know where to go from there. I am looking forward to Age of Extinction, as I said, but we'll have to wait and see where they go after I see this film and once we get more news onto this. And last up, this has been a Mark Wahlberg Monday. Mark Wahlberg, we all know him in many, many films. I mean, he's, and we also know him as an underwear model, as a rap artist from the 90s we know him he's been all over he's not at all he's he's crazy well he got the generation award um at the mtv movie awards and you know what, what what's so special about that well nothing you know some of the great actors and actresses have received that award and that's like a big award through the mtv awards but what was odd about it was his speech he dropped an f-bomb well let me take that back he dropped more like 10 f-bombs once again, I'm going to keep opinion out of this. The speech was very, very unique. Um, the only thing that I will say is that you have younger a younger audience. Because it is MTV. We all grew up watching MTV. When you're teenagers, that was the cool thing to do. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I want you guys to go check out the actual video of his speech. It is edited. So... Or, I mean, it is censored, I'm sorry. So, yeah, we'll have to... I want really want your opinion on that as well. Um, yeah, I'm really curious to think... To see what you guys think, because you guys always bring up some very good points. And every Movie News Monday, there is that one article that just really seems to bring out a lot of opinions. And I think this is going to be the story. So, let me... Let me put it to you like this, so questions to answer. How do you feel about saying F-bomb on MTV? How do you feel about saying it on live television? And do you think it was appropriate for Mark Wahlberg to use the F-bomb in the way that he used it while accepting a Generation Award? You guys tell me. As I said, it was a very interesting speech, I will say that. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on another Movie News Monday. If you enjoy this segment, please let me know by leaving a like and or a comment. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter at DrMovie91. Check out my new Facebook, facebook.com slash DrMovie91. And as always, everybody, take care and happy watching.